Dave from Mutation Creation. Uh, today's video, we're gonna do uh, a featured morph and it's gonna be lavender. So, got a few different uh, lavender combinations that we have and uh, we're gonna show them off. Uh, I wanna give a huge shout out to Colorado Cold Blood. Definitely not slacking with that big S. You know, bam, right on the back. All those scales. So, uh, yeah, so, you know, give these guys a, a follow, Instagram, um, and Austin, you take it away. So today, for this shout out of YouTube of the week, it goes to balls to you. Gavin. Gavin, he's a great guy. He's in the UK. Makes some really good videos. Shows a lot about breeding, all of his pairings. Lots of info as well. In this video, he talks about why he only feeds ASFs instead of rats. So you guys should definitely check him out. That's balls to you. And to another bald guy. Hey. <laughs> so, um, we sort of organized these. You don't have to give me a hand again, Austin, like you always do. So, first, we're gonna start with a normal lavender. So this one here is also Heck Clown, but this is a lavender. And you can start seeing it, well, hopefully, in the camera. The white, usually right around the neck and the head first, start going a little bit like pinkish to lavender. The color changes. Um, and the older they get, the lavender starts coming in a little more. Can you see the hue of the purple? Of the, it's a the pinkish? Hard to catch it. You know, compared to the white back here, starts coming in. But this here is a lavender heck clown. And then a project I'm looking forward to. Uh, this is a blackhead lavender heck clown. So if you see the difference between a lavender and a blackhead lav, the color is so much whiter. It's like super white. The pattern, these the alien heads are over here. They're usually, you know, striped over the back and they have you know, solid here, they've got little, I guess, eyelets or holes and, and... Almost like a reduced Mojave. So you can definitely tell the difference between the two. So Blackhead really changes the look. And I'm gonna show you an adult, my male, that actually bred this clutch. But blackhead labs are amazing. And I'll show you, like I said, the adult and man, do they age well. So this thing is awesome. Here is a blackhead lavender, my breeder male. That's the, the father to those animals. Like, wow. Just awesome. This guy's been busy again this year. Um, I got him into a few projects. I wanna make some more. But I'm looking forward to seeing what a blackhead lavender clown looks like. Blackhead lavender pied or the dreamsicle. So, really awesome looking animal. I really love the blackhead stuff. Um, let's go here. Here, I'm gonna go this one first. Okay, yeah. This here is just a pastel lavender. Nope. Oh. Well, that's why I wanted to go the other one. Oh, it looked like it. In Austin's always right, man. Why do I, why do I even bother? There you go. See, man, they do look similar though. You gotta give yeah. it that. Like, you know what I mean? Pretty similar. So I, I ain't going. That. I ain't senile yet. So, and even if I if I do go senile, I got Austin here to you know push me and guide me the right way. So. Pastel lavender. So it really brings out a lot of color. And the, 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 the lavender is really, really intense with the pastel. And it gets a lot of, you know, I guess, what is it? Highlights. I wouldn't say orangey, huh? The highlighter -y. Yeah, it's like highlights, but I mean, it's not really orange. It's almost mustardy. It's, but it, it through the blushing in the set, in the, the top of the, uh, of the dorsal uh, it pops up and even inside the the keyholes I guess in the alien heads and surrounding the alien yeah heads. it pops 
So, really amazing. Just, just pastel. Pastel lavender. Really good example as well. So, figured I'd show him off. And then we'll go to the one that uh, I thought was this one. No, no, I would go. I would just keep going down at this point. Oh, okay. So there we go. I think we got this right. Ready? I don't know. Put your sunglasses on, guys. Bam! What's this one, Austin? This is the pastel orange dream lavender. Yep, it's sixty-six percent at five. A little bit of maybe a bite, but this thing, look at the head. Can you, is it catching the color? Like this is citrus orange, mandarin. I mean, the, it's just nuts. So many different hues. Maybe a little. Is the camera picking it up? A little? A little bit. I mean, this thing is glowing. It's just, zoom in a little. So pastel orange dream lavender, just nuts. Now we're gonna go to the next one. And this is pastel orange dream lavender. Nope, pastel yellow belly. Oh, sorry. Pastel yellow belly, lav. So without the orange dream, So the orange dream really cleans it up and gives it a lot of oomph. But look at how stunning. <laughs> They're just so amazing. Pastel yellow belly lav. And then all of them together. Impossible super pastel. So this here. Help me out, dude. That's a pastel or super pastel orange dream yellow belly lavender. And that's 66% het pied also. But skin over that, I mean, just looking at this, my eyes are like. All the different colors. It's just so intense. Like it's, look at the oranges. Like this is just nuts. Like they're so amazing. Can't wait to get these. In, in the uh, Dreamsicle project and also into Clown. I've got it into some other things as, as well for the future, but just nuts. Really amazing. And lavenders start off, you know, almost looking like an albino. And then the, when, when it gets older, you can see how the purple start coming in, um, you know, the lavender. That's where they get the, the name lavender from because these are just, but. Yeah, I think you are, you, you know, it's probably, it is super pastel. The camera's just not picking it up. In person, it's crazy. And as yeah. a baby, this was. Nuts. Orange and white. So, a lot of cool females. Um, one's a male. So I get to utilize him. Uh, I showed this one actually in yesterday's video in the uh, the ghost typo, but I'll show her again. Definitely camera worthy. This here is the lavender hypo or lavender ghost. And not so much deep oranges, but the contrast and the yellow highlights and the, the lavender purple is just it's intense. Like, it's just, look at that. Double recessive right there. Imagine getting some orange dream and pastel and yellow belly into this. I think it's going to be even more vibrant, but just, just stunning. Like, look at that. <laughs> it's amazing. Before we go into the next one, do you want to go grab an adult? An adult what? Lav? The leopard lav? Ah, uh, it's actually eating. Too bad. Yeah. Oh well. Let's go this route. This one here is really amazing. 
Um, black pastel, pinstripe, lavender. Um, Super crazy. This one here is a possible hep pied. It's going to a black pastel pied. The black pastel pied from last year that made uh, the black pastel dreamsicle. So hopefully if this proves out to be pied, I can make panda pieds, lavender panda pieds, black pastel, I'm uh, sorry, uh, pinstripe panda pieds, and lavender pinstripe panda pieds. And imagine this, the pinstripe black pastel dreamsicle. Nuts. Imagine the Enchi in here. Oh, that's another thing we're going to eventually put this little guy to. But it's just, oh my lord. The camera can't even pick up the hues. Like, this is peach. We got yellow, and I mean, it's... Almost like fiery or red, orange. <laughs> it's just amazing. Looks like a grapefruit. So I'm going to do this. If you do this, you ever open up a, a grapefruit or an orange? That's what it looks like. Just awesome. Pinstripe, black pastel, lavender, 50% uh, hep pied. He'll be proved out this year. Um, actually, this is the mate right here. That's a black pastel pied het lavender. So, hopefully that proves out. And uh, hit some panda pies and panda pie dreamsicles. Um, you know, my last time doing black pastel, the black pastel, last year uh, had some clutches, didn't turn out very well. Uh, we're gonna do it one more time, and if not, I'm gonna move myself on from the panda pie project, even though I love it. Top left. Uh, here we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's crazy. I don't know what these bad boys are. This here is a lavender asphalt. Come on, there you go. Lavender asphalt. Really amazing. And then take that animal and add some Enchi. Bam! That's an Enchi Lavender Asphalt. Look at that head. Look at the colors on the head. Chill, dude. Chill, chill, chill. Just awesome. All the pinks coming up from the side on the yeah, door. Yeah, pinks and oranges and peach. Look at this thing. One of my favorites. It's just going to keep getting better with every shed. Lavender. Enchi Asphalt. Can't wait to see her on. This is female, right? Yep. Can't wait to see her on eggs one day. Just amazing. So super happy with these. These work to projects, into projects that I'm working on in the future with my freeway and super asphalt stuff. Imagine super asphalt Enchi or super asphalt super Enchi lavenders. Oh my God, it's crazy. It's going this way? Yeah. Oh, cool. Here we go. Now, we'll just, we'll go this way first and then we'll do the next one. So this here, this is a black pastel lavender. I believe it's het pied, but that's what black pastel does to lav. You can see the black pastel pattern. Really awesome how the lavender really works. Really amazing. Just real, real awesome. When they do grow up, this goes more to a yellow. I wish it kept that orange. But real, really, really cool. Um, here's an adult. So... This is a very, very, very nice example. So, 
amazing even as an adult i still love it but you see how the purples are in now the lavender compared to the white so they age very well but i would love i wish this orange could stay that way but that's why you know we get to create um you know and work towards that maybe add some fire or od or, or yellow belly and, and just create and see if we can get these oranges a little more deeper and, and the colors a little bit more to pop um yeah, and it doesn't even have to be OD or LB. It could be something totally unique that we haven't even thought of. Because a lot of genes interact a lot differently. Um, instead of just assuming, oh, we had fire, it's going to make it brighter. Sometimes it dulls the, the pattern. Sometimes it depends what, uh, what genes are inside. Um, so that's why it, it's sort of hard to explain what a gene does. Because it does different things in, in different uh, when mixed with other genes. And yeah, this one here, pretty crazy. This here is a Mojave Lavender Banana. Yellow Belly. Oh, and Yellow Belly. Yep. So, look at that head. So, just like I was saying actually, you know, a minute earlier, you figure, hey, if you add banana, it's gonna give it some rich colors and, and you know, Banana Lav with the Mojave and I'm going to show you a banana Mojave, I mean a lavender Mojave. The banana, you think, would add some more color, but it actually fades it out. Because I'm going to show you right now. Here's a lavender Mojave. So you figure, hey, if I add banana to this, it's going to bring more color out. It actually does the opposite. So sometimes when you think adding a gene will do something, it might have the actual opposite effect. Here's a very good case scenario, because if I said, and I saw this and I'm like, wow, if I add some banana to this, this would be more rich. It's gonna be a lot more oranges and it's gonna pop. <laughs> Actually, it took it all away. I mean, look at the richness between these animals and no, this one is not in shed. Not in shed. Look at the difference between the coloration just from adding banana and, and yellow belly would actually you know, if you took the yellow belly away, I think this would be even more dull. You wouldn't have all this coloration as, as, as heavy up the sides. So, good comparison here how adding a gene that really gives a lot of color to an animal or to, to, to with, mixed with certain genes, it did the totally opposite with, with lavender. It actually took the color away and made it softer. So, two amazing animals here. The best way to get the deeper reds and the deeper oranges inside of lavender is to add the darker morphs. Yes. Since banana is a very light morph and you add the albino to it, it makes it lighter. So the next snake is going to prove that by adding a darker morph. And here is the same animal here, but now add black pastel. So this is a black pastel Mojave lavender. Just look at the difference between the two. Adding the black pastel, it takes all these alien heads or the pattern and sort of just blends it all together. Look at the belly, look at the colors, the striping down the back. It's almost like a solid stripe. It's got like a yellow hue in between the orange. I mean, just two amazing snakes. I'm happy with both. Uh, this is also het lavender. Uh, het lavender. Oh, wow, Billy. <laughs> this is also het pied, and so was this one. This one's actually breeding this year, so hopefully we're going to be making this in a dreamsicle form. Black pastel Mojave dreamsicles. But one of my favorite animals this year, just, wow. I've got a few more. Always talking about the dreamsicles, so we'll get into the dreamsicles. So, this one here, this here is a very high pattern, of course. This is a very high pattern dreamsicle. This is one of my female holdbacks. Very high pattern, which I love. It's got some really deep oranges and the coloration is really strong. I could have something else going on, I'm not sure, but just stunning example. 
low white, which I love in my pides. And then, like that black pastel pied Het Lav I just showed, uh, this is one of the, uh, of the offspring. It's in deep, deep, deep shed, but this is a black pastel dreamsicle. And like I said, deep shed, but if you notice, even through the shed, it's very, very solid. Like it's, this is a deeper, deeper orange where this here is more of a yellow. It's sort of lightened up. The orange is really light, um, giving it more of a lighter effect. This is a deep, 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 and that's what the black pastel does. Gives it a deeper color, deeper orange. And black pastel is, is usually a, a high white pied, but I was able to get a couple of nice saddles. So really amazing example here. Show the difference in the heads as well. So that little head stamp is pretty much gone. It's more of a white head. And I'll uh, bring this one out. This here is a pastel dreamsicle. So if you see the head, it's more highlighter yellow. It's not so vivid as far as the head stamp. It, it's more um, taken away. It's not so bold. And just look at the color, just even in the neck. The contrast between the lavender and, and the highlighter yellow is, is so intense. But just another amazing low white. Beautiful. Dreamsicles are amazing. I have some lavender clown stuff, but they're in deep shed and one's a breeder male, so. You've seen him in some of my other videos. But I'm definitely uh, working Lavender into um, more Dreamsicle combos, more Clown. Uh, eventually I'm gonna do the Holy Grail um, and, and combos with that. Um, yeah, she's not bad. Last female, last, last animal I'm gonna show. Yellow belly, a little bit of poop on her head. Yellow belly dreamsicle female. So I'm gonna hopefully make a bunch of these this year and add OD, add some Enchi, add pastel and make a combination of all those. Um, but uh, I have a lot of het stuff too, triple hets. Uh, I don't think I have quadruple hets yet with lavender. But a lot of double hats and a lot of combo hats and double hats. Uh, I do have some triple hats. I'm definitely going to have uh, lavender as a staple uh, in, in my uh, facility and, and with my projects. Uh, same with pied, clown, a lot of the recessives. Um, I like to see this. Um, I have a chance this year of making super asphalt lavenders and even super asphalt enchi or super enchi super asphalt labs. If I really nail it out of the park, I really want to see that, that color with that you know, the rich tones and, and the darkness of the super asphalt. So I think a super asphalt lab is going to be one of my new favorites. Um, as I, I, I assume, um, hopefully it doesn't, you know, do the opposite um, of what I want. But I knowing from what I know that it's already a pretty dark morph, I think it's going to add and it's really going to have a, an amazing contrast between the lavender and the dark stuff. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, don't forget, you know, another huge shout out. Colorado Cold Bloods, Gavin Balls to you, Instagram and YouTube. Look at the man spitting advice. There you go. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Keep the comments coming in and we'll see you guys next video.